Hi there, students. Effrontery. Effrontery. To have the effrontery to do something. Okay, effrontery is a noun. It's uncountable. It's talking about being insolent, being rude, but in a shameless way and being brave enough to do it in a situation where most people would say nothing. So, insolent, shameless audacity is the idea of effrontery. Yes, it's um, being extremely rude um, and... Uh, not caring that this is not acceptable to other people. Um, so if you're if you have the effrontery to do something, it means you're you're very rude. It's very rude of you to do that, and um, you really don't care that this um, insults or upsets other people and uh, it's, it's also unusual that somebody would complain in that situation. So the defendant had the effrontery to tell the judge that he was uh, biased um, and the judge was very angry and sentenced him to contempt of, or found him guilty of contempt of court. Okay, so infrontery, it's being rude, it's being impertinent, it's being cheeky. Um, you are challenging, if you've got a f effrontery, um, if you do have the effrontery to do something, an effrontery is you're challenging authority, you're being cheeky to authority, you're being rude to authority, it, you're being shameless and barefaced. Yeah, he had so um, he arrived late and then had the effrontery to say that it was my fault uh, because I had been late. So shameless, bold rudeness, shamelessly bold and rude, the effrontery. Um, it's uh, brave, rude, disrespectful behavior. Um, it's difficult for many people to actually comprehend the sheer effrontery of the uh, woman. So insolence, the nerve, the arrogance, yeah, the presumptive arrogance of the, this person. Um, so they're rude, they have the temerity to do something. Yeah, he had the temerity to say that I was wrong. I am always right. He had the effrontery to uh, criticize me. No, you, we should all, we're all listen to uh, constructive criticism. Okay, so the effrontery to do something. Um, this is... Uh, it, you, you're being bold, audacious behaviour that you have no right to, do, do, no right to do. So um, the man had the effrontery to come into the club wearing w a workman's overalls. He didn't have a suit and tie, so he was bra brave and rude, and and uh, had no right to come into the club like that. Okay, that that's the idea of the of effrontery, the the, the be, being rudely when uh, when you uh, when you have no right to do something, but if you, you're doing it as if you had the right. Um, okay, so maybe there's a there is a, a queue of people waiting for something. And I walk to the front of the queue and I have the effrontery to demand that I am dealt with immediately. Yeah. So outrageous self-centered behavior, um, the, the effrontery to do something, to commit uh, an effrontery, to commit effrontery, to, to, to do this, to be r really rude and in your face. Um, okay, so yes, bold, brazen presumptuousness. Um, okay, he had the effrontery to uh, wake me up at four o'clock in the morning and uh, demand that I lend him money. So it's got insolence, disrespect, audacity. It's got all of the all of these ideas together. 
Um, he had the effrontery to call me a liar. Yes, he had the uh, effrontery to uh, say that I was dishonest. So it's got the idea of being saucy or sassy, being rude, being impudent, but being brazen and brash and bold at the same time. So, effrontery. Um, six in formality, but I would say you could use anywhere. It does sound a little bit posh. In something in, informal, I guess, just about. And then, as to origin, this comes from uh, French. Effronterie, effronté. Uh, shameless, insolent. From Old French, effronté. From uh, Latin, Ephrons, bare-faced, a bare-faced lie. Ex, out of and from, from the forehead. Yeah, so you can see a person's forehead, I guess. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Effrontery.